Alabama is 3-0 and and ranked number one, but the Tide has not always looked like the top team in the country this season. And number 21 Ole Miss believes that Bama is ripe for an upset. WVUA sports reporter Lee Smith has the story. After a workmanlike 31-7 win over Colorado State with several starters held out of the lineup, Nick Saban says his team simply needs to play better. There was a lot of good things that we did in the game, uh, but we also shot ourselves in the foot quite a bit with mental mistakes and, you know, technique errors. So those are the things that are correctable that need to get corrected so that we can play with more consistency. Consistency will be the key when SEC foe Old Miss comes to town. Sporting a number 21 ranking and a 3-0 record, the Rebels are running and gunning under quarterback Bo Wallace. Bo Wallace does a really good job of operating there. Hurry up, speed, effective. They've got really good skill players. Um, Two, two or three receivers that are explosive guys, a really good tight end as a receiver. The Rebs are extremely balanced on offense, averaging 240 yards through the air and 250 on the ground. Some Bama players even compared their offense to the high-octane Texas A&M offense with loaded skill talent everywhere and an experienced quarterback. It's, it's almost like Texas A&M. Uh, they got so many explosive uh, players on offense and big play waiting to happen uh, every play really so it's going to be critical for us to uh, control the ball. They have a very explosive offense you know uh, they don't have Johnny Football at quarterback but they do have a dominant quarterback. Wallace is a great quarterback he can throw he can run and he's hard to tackle. He's gotten a lot better from last year you know he's more consistent throwing the ball throwing the ball on target and stuff like that so I mean it's going to be a challenge this week. Rebels head coach Hugh Freeze will try and post his first win against Bama, but recent history has been in the Tide's favor. They're going for a decade of dominance as Alabama has won the last nine meetings. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, I'm Lee Smith, WVUA Sports.